Oh yeah. You know what time these mandingos. Fuck off. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys. I'm here at the Stadium of Light, which is the home of Sunderland Football Club. One of the biggest clubs in world football. Oh, oh you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Yep, yeah, today I'm just making a little extra midweek video where I'm going to show you one of my old stealth camping spots. I'll also show you a few bloopers off the last three videos and why not do a cheeky little wasking review? You know it makes sense. So I'm just walking round in the same direction I did last year when I made this video. I think it was about nearly a year ago when I made this stealth camping video. And at the time, I had about 1,200 subscribers. So things has gone well since then. Cheers guys. Yep, so I'm gonna carry on walking around in this direction, which will bring us round to the main stand. And then we'll cut across the car park and down to the bushes where I've done the stealth camp. How are we? Here we go. Ah. How we are me bonnie lads. So this is the same way I came last time. Obviously I had me big rucksack on and I was a bit skitzed out in case someone was watching us because there's cameras all over the place. But this is the way I came, down through the car park and I made my way over there to the bushes. Bring you back in a second. Right. So it's along here somewhere. I can't quite remember exactly where. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nice, someone's dumped some shite there. Yep, this was it. Down here. This was my exact spot, guys. Right down there, I had me little bivy. Obviously, with there being a bank there, I was nice and sheltered from anyone walking past. But I was still thinking, if just one person from the stadium seeing us and they phone the police, or even if they just come walking over themselves and say, you've got to move on, well, that would have been the end of that stealth camp. Luckily, I got away with it, and it made a good video. Well, I think it was a good video. <laughs> As you can see, folks, it's not the cleanest spot. Plenty of rubbish lying around. And you've always got to be careful in case there's any dirty needles and stuff like that. But down here, where I had the bivy, and where I was lying, just there by the side of it, that's nice and clean there. So I kind of just stayed in that area, definitely when it got dark and I couldn't really see. But just to show you how close I was to the actual stadium. There it's there. And the car park's just right next to us. Oh, you bugger. Yep, so that's about it, guys. 
This is the location. I've done the Stadium of Light Stealth Camp. Um, nothing else to show you here. So we might as well do a Waski review soon. First of all, I'm going to show you some bloopers. And then when I bring you back, we will do the world famous Waski review. Ho oh, ho, yeah. You better believe I will, man, dingoes. Enjoy the bloopers. Right. Oh, fuck off. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> batteries is running out. Oh god. Oh, matron. I've had two cans of Moretti, which means I've got two cans of Moretti left. And, oh man, fuck off, that's fucking shit. Oh yeah, you know what time these manding goes. Fuck off. Cameras in the cameras in the top left corner, right. Schmick. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Start again. My fingers are freezing. Can't even hold the camera properly. I'll just start recording and we'll just talk a load of shite and say we're guns. <laughs> if it's shite, we'll just delete it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Last can. Right, how are them? Right, folks, I've just popped some new potatoes in there. I know new potatoes and Chinese noodles don't really go together. 
but who gives a shit? So I'm going to put the lid on, we'll let that bubble away for a couple of minutes, and that'll be due. Oh, fucking hell, man. Muck that up, Mick. Start again. Two lice. <laughs> I, you don't know what I said? <laughs> I said fucking um, carbon binoxide instead of carbon <laughs> oxide. I think I'm just Why am some fucking devil boy? <laughs> <laughs> some mark me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll just do what we normally do. Just, I'll see it, and you just fucking see what I'm seeing. Just talk. Not seriously. <laughs> you just talk a load of shit like what I say. <laughs> like, I'll say what I honestly think, and if you kind of smell it, you just see what I'm seeing. Little dingo, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even though you done the other one good, didn't you? So, right. Let's. Get cracking, little dingo man. Oh, ho, ho. you know what time it is, man, dingoes. Waski time. And this is what I've got this week. Wireworks, which is made at the White Peak Distillery here in England, in Derbyshire. I want to say a massive thank you to James and Laura for kindly sending me this. Thank you very much. Let's get that open there. that down there and let's get some put in the old famous cub dingo man dingoes all righty let's get the old baker in it i'm getting some sweet aromas of apple and funny enough i'm getting like a nice leather smell. You know when you buy a brand new leather sofa and you get that lovely new leather smell? Yep, that's definitely where I'm getting. Anyway, Mandingos, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting lice. Oh, that's really strong. Well, it will be. Most whiskies <clears throat> are like 40%, and this one's 51%, so this will blow your cap off. A lovely, sweet fruit thing going on. And I'm getting there tingly peppery feeling on my tongue not too much so if you're not a whiskey drinker don't let this one pull uh, put you off it's not burning me throat or anything like that but I am getting a nice little tingle which is lovely a little tingle on the old tongue dingo man dingoes <laughs> that was a tongue twist there <laughs> mm. yep definitely a sweet a fruity apple thing going on And a little bit of a, <clears throat> God, it's strong. A little bit of a sweet, smoky taste about it. Very, very nice indeed, man, dingoes. Now, after the fourth taste there, I'm getting a lovely aftertaste of bourbon, where it's been stored in the bourbon casks. Absolutely tremendous. Mmm. Get that bottle there to show you. Wireworks. It's not a cheap one, a proper size bottle. 
I think cost around 67 pound. So I'm very fortunate to have this, to try it out. Yeah, but why it works? Made in here, in England, in Derbyshire. Absolutely tremendous. I am going to give that a massive 9.2 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. That is the end of this week's Waski review. Like I say, it was just a little extra one. I'll still be out at the weekend, stealth capping. So remember to tune in on Sunday for that video, guys. Alrighty, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you had a good laugh watching the bloopers. I have a good laugh making the videos. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious Waski Tearson. Oh. Hmm. I'll see you on Sunday. Right. Oh, animation. You know what makes total sense? Right. Two rice. See you next week. Fucking shit, lad. <laughs>